I wanted to tell my why Satislow story from a personal position. So it's really two parts. The first is why I work for Satislow, and the second is why I still work for Satislow. So a lot of people don't know this, but originally I was a customer. I came out of Precision Optics, uh, worked in Cincinnati where we built uh, large diameter glass optics. I had become a loyal low customer because the company I worked for at the time was the first to bring this new state-of-the-art processing technology for high-speed polishing of glass optics to the U.S. I was uh, challenged to go to Wetzlar, Germany. We were looking at some equipment from low optical machinery. Uh, had a special process called SynchroSpeed at the time. I spent about eight weeks in that first year in the factory working with the machine manufacturers the engineers, the designers. And Low optical machinery was the absolute A-team of optical specialists in the late 80s and early 90s. The talent pool was chock full of scientists and doctors, engineers, machine designers, led by the infamous Erhard Brook, who could design a machine for breakfast and file patents by dinner. The team was anchored by one of the smartest men I had ever met at the time, Michael Leitz, the grandson of the original Lights, founder of Leica, and a guy whom I was proud to call my friend. Designers. And I was blown away with how meticulous and how proud they were and how good, uh, not just the talent pool, but, but the gear that they were making was remarkable. I was completely impressed. And that was the day I decided, that's a company I want to go to work for. And it took me a couple of years, but finally, uh, after a lot of pursuit, Now the second part of this story is I've been working for Satislow for 30 years. And in 30 years I've accumulated almost a half a billion dollars in sales and projects and selling gear and material. That is that the average lifespan of a salesman in a capital equipment business, especially in our industry, is about five to seven years. Years, but the reality is there's two fundamental ways that, that this can happen. And the first is, the product that you're selling has to be not just good, but it has to be great. Number two is that the company has to, has to back you up. We have to err on the side of the customer. We In the end, it's about achieving the holy grail of that customer loyalty that I once experienced firsthand. And that only happens with honesty, integrity, and transparency in the daily efforts of bringing technology solutions that make the most sense for our customers. So Satislow empowers me to pursue this meaningful activity, and that's why Satislow for me. And for 30 years, that's always been the case. So those are my two reasons of why Satislow and why Satislow for 30 years.